You're tuned in to The Keetra Show and listening to SOB, Style of Business, the podcast with your host, Keetra. We aim to highlight the ongoing trek of entrepreneurs and business owners from around the globe, featuring stories that recount their struggles, experiences, and inevitable road to success and self-fulfillment. Welcome to SOB. This podcast is being brought to you by my inspiring new book titled Courage is a Muscle, Using Heart to Power Your Entrepreneurial Dreams. You can grab your copy today on Amazon. Hey, what's up, y'all? Thanks so much for tuning in to another hot episode of SOB Style of Business, the podcast. This is your host, Keetra. And in today's episode, we have a great guest. We are talking to the fabulous Yarun Kortout. Hope I got that last name correct. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, wow. Hey, we're on a roll. Talking to Mr. (laughs) Yarun. He is the CEO of a CRM uh, company called Salesflare, and he's going to be dropping the goods, giving us some information on why it's important to maintain good consumer, good customer relationships, and uh, just some tidbits on how we can better, you know, take care of our customers. So without further ado, Yerun, go ahead and drop that introduction for us, and we're going to roll right into the show. Yeah, so I'm uh, Yerun Kortaut, um, co-founder and CEO of Salesflare. Uh, and Salesforce is a CRM system. There is many out there that I, I think 600 plus or something. Uh, if you have to play Salesforce, it's a CRM for small businesses and medium-sized businesses, first of all. Uh, it's focused on helping you sell and helping you follow up leads without having them fall through the cracks. And um, in that space, uh, compared to our competitors, uh, it's much more focused on automating um, the data around that so you don't have to fill out your day filling out the CRM, uh, which is where mostly uh, CRM systems fail when it comes to helping you sell. Perfect. Yeah, and I know you just mentioned with there's a lot of choices when it comes to CRM platforms. I think you mentioned, what, 600 plus? Or six, yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, actually, yeah. If you go on g2.com there, I think there is 611 or so. Well, that, yeah, that's, that's a lot of, you know, potential (laughs) products to sort through, but I noticed that you guys are actually number, uh, the number one CRM platform on product hunt, which, you know, that speaks speaks volume. So that's a good deal. Yeah. And if you look on G2 actually, and you look at the easiest to use ones, I think we're ranked fourth um, and we're first when it comes to easiest to implement. Um, So we're doing our best there. Exactly. Yeah. And I, I'm I'm so glad to have you on the show because I know a lot of times when it comes to the sales process, I mean, a lot of people are just terrified of sales. You know, mm-hmm. there's sales calls, there's the emails, there's the follow ups. There's a complete process that you need to be aware of when it comes to sales. So I'm glad to have you on to kind of walk us through a little bit of that. And then really to give us, um, I guess a little bit later, we'll talk about, you know, how sales flair is, you know, coming in to, to really cut out some of that back and forth, because I think that's important as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So let's, right. yeah. So let's talk a little bit about, I guess the mission, if you, if you want to start there, or even if, uh, if there's some background information that you want to provide as far as, you know, your own interest in, you know, customer management and relationships, that'll be great too. So just wherever you want to start, we'll kick it off there. Yeah, I, I started off as a salesperson uh, about 10 years ago. Uh, I was work, working in a marketing, marketing consultancy and we used Salesforce, so not Salesforce, Salesforce uh, internally. Uh, that's It's the market leader. I think they have about 20% of the market. Um, it was my very first CRM as well, so I, I took it very seriously and people told me that would help me organize my sales. So I really tried using it for that, but I, I didn't really manage to like... It, it, it seemed tedious. Um, things like the tasks seemed so different from the task systems like Wunderlist, for instance, that I was used to. Yeah. Um, and I didn't really manage to to uh, organize myself in it. Uh, and I noticed that for many of my colleagues, it was, it was very similar. Um, they were just putting their opportunities in there so that uh, the management could see it and uh, report on that and, and contacts so that we could put them on a newsletter basically, but it wasn't really like a system for our salespeople to follow up stuff. I would organize myself in my Outlook and my wonder list uh, for my tasks, uh, but never in Salesforce. So it, it didn't really help us sell, which I found weird. Yeah. Uh, it didn't make sense to me, but I mean, I didn't do much with that, with that insight for a few years um, until I was working with my co-founder on another software company. We were selling um, software that was compatible with IBM software. And we had a lot of good leads to follow up. And we wanted to organize that. And I knew that Salesforce wasn't going to help us. 
So we looked around and we looked at different systems and, and we found that none of them really worked for us. And many of them were, were much better systems uh, for following up customers than Salesforce, but they would always fail with us uh, because we wouldn't uh, fill them out perfectly. And that was sort of the expectation that was created by these systems. We had to be sort of uh, this perfect data input robots, I would say, these highly disciplined people yeah. uh, that put in every single thing that we do. And if at any point your discipline fails, then the system fails because exactly. the, 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 the system is not up to date anymore. The data is not there. You can't rely on it anymore. You don't know anymore. If you look into the system, is this really the last thing I discussed with the customer? Is that really their information? You know, it, it all falls apart. And then we figured that actually it's, 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 it's double dumb in, 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 in a certain way because the data that we're filling out in, this, in the CRM is actually already data that exists and exists digitally. Uh, it's information in your email system. There's a lot of information about customers there, how much you're in touch with them, when you're in touch with them, what you're in touch with them about, how strong your relationship is. And there's data about that in your calendar, in your phone, um, email tracking, website tracking. There's information in company databases. And we saw a lot of information out there that somehow we just had to uh, combine automatically for people and offer it to them so that they can use it um, to follow up their customers better without having to have that that great discipline that uh, of, like like when it comes to filling out a CRM. And that's sort of when 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 the company was born and, and when we started started envisioning and building um, building Salesflare. Mm -hmm. uh, that's now six years and a half uh, ago we had the, the first idea. Um, and we've been we've been working on that mission ever since. And we have a, a system now mostly used by small businesses and medium sized businesses um, that is that is a combination of being very easy to use. Uh, but also automating a lot of the, the data input. Um, so you, you can really focus on following up customers very well uh, instead of spending your time uh, filling out a CRM system. Perfect. Yeah. And I, I'm glad that you mentioned that you guys, you know, specifically work alongside or, or with rather for uh, to help startups, small businesses and entrepreneurs. Can you really give us, uh, a, I guess, a little bit more of an explanation in regards to CRM and what that means in you know, take us through not only the point of sale, but then also maybe just making sure that we remain, we're maintaining good relationships with the customers and the people that buy the products. Yeah, yeah. CRM is a, 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 as most most of us know, is a, is a abbreviation for customer relationship management. Uh, so CRM system is a is a system in which you organize your customer relationships, um, and in the very basics. Um, a, a system is, is usually uh, has a product or a service and builds that or buys it or whatever uh, and then sells that to, to customers. Um, and it's, it's that exact relationship that is the core of what CRM systems uh, are about or should be about. Um, it's uh, understanding who are we in touch with, uh, who are they? Um, where do they live? What's their phone number? Uh, how do we reach them? All this kind of information, the basic address book stuff that a lot of people use their CRMs for. But then it also goes beyond that and, and it paints the relationship that we have with them. Um, and the basics there is um, what emails have we exchanged? When did we call? Uh, when did we have meetings? What were these contacts about? Are people reading my emails or they're not reading my emails, checking out my website? It's sort of all the touch points that you're having with a customer yeah. uh, is as the, the, I would say, the second layer. Um, and then you can also have that um, in, in a team setting. Um, so very often you're not the only one uh, being in touch with, with a customer. And even if you are, at some point you might leave the company or you get sick or whatever. Um that's why that's that's partly why you're collecting information and 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 when you're working together it's it's even more important because then together you you sort of have one view on the things you're discussing with a customer and it makes it much easier to collaborate um, and then many of these uh, customer relationships uh, 
they follow uh, the buying process. Yeah. I mean, they go beyond the, the buying process, but uh, a very important part there is, is going from, from a lead to a deal. Um, and CRM systems usually have a sort of pipeline view uh, that allows you to know exactly where uh, someone is in the, the buying or sales process um, where you map out the different steps, where you as a salesperson, the person who guides people through that process, um, it, like, like, like takes people through. Um, and then uh, it, it helps you keep that overview and it helps you um, basically take more people through the process than you would be able to do uh, based on your memory. You're trying to build very personal uh, relationships at scale um, and taking people at scale through a sales pipeline um, and that's 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 what these systems are for because you you can do that with a few people just yeah. based on memory um, but that, as soon as it's uh, it starts becoming a, a few tens of people then that just that's just impossible and you need a good system to to still be able to provide that same level of um, guidance and building relationships and closing deals um, in a way that people still feel like you're the only one, uh, like they're the only one uh, you're serving, uh, but then at scale. Uh, that's that's what CRM systems are essentially for. Exactly. And, and with Salesflare, you guys actually serve B2B and also B2C. So there's, you know, do you have different software products for or different products for those type of businesses that are trying to deal directly with businesses as opposed to the businesses that are trying to target consumers or does it kind of all fall under one one product we we only uh, offer uh, this to uh, businesses who sell to other businesses oh got it uh, we decided to specialize in that uh, because um well, it, it makes the software uh, more easy to use because it's it's much more singular in its in its purpose, and then then it, it gets a bit less confusing. Uh, also, um, these kind of slightly longer sales processes are more the case in B two B than in B two C. Although there's exceptions, of course, like when you're in real estate or you're selling cars, or then it might be that that it's not, it's it's a slightly longer uh, sales process. Uh, but then there's other software for that. You can you can find uh, specific real estate CRMs, for, for instance. We do have uh, commercial real estate people on the software uh, because that's that's B two B business. That's, that's perfect. Yeah, and and as far as like specializations, are there any types of businesses businesses that you guys target or that that you invite to to try out the software or how, like how does that work? Yeah, we, we mostly, uh, so we have small and medium sized businesses selling B2B. That's where we draw the lines. Um, okay. If you would look at uh, our customer base, a lot of those are agencies. Um, and that means um, marketing agencies in all their variations from, uh, from um, branding agencies to video agencies to general marketing, digital marketing agencies, quite some. Uh, to uh, software development companies. Um, that's uh, another big type of agencies we have on the software. Um, and then uh, next to that, a lot of the companies we have on the software are also um, uh, fast-growing uh, startups or companies uh, in a certain sense. So a lot of tech startups, a lot of SaaS companies, uh, telcos, um, that's and then, and then some some outliers, of course. But those are the main groups uh, that use Salesforce. The main core, yeah. And you guys have a pretty simple, easy to follow setup process. It doesn't take a lot of uh, time. So for the person yeah. that's not like tech savvy, um, I guess like what what would be the process of you know maybe somebody's interested and they end up doing a a, a trial run or whatever. Like how how easy is it to set it up? It's uh, like I said, we're the the number one most implementable according to people on G2.com. So it's uh, it's it's very easy. Uh, we don't take you through a lot of steps. Basically, when you go to our site, at the top right, there's a button that says "Try it for free." Uh, you connect your emails. That's uh, just yeah, one click, or and then you need to authenticate with either Google or Office 365 or whatever you use. 
Um, and then you're in the software, the software starts uh, working for you. Uh, in the beginning, it sort of guides you around, shows you a few stuff, the basics. Um, and then when that's over, uh, there's a little setup guide for you that you can follow where every step uh, has a, a little article that you can read and there's a video that shows you uh, how to do it. Um, and as you set up the software, by the way, we, we built it in such a way that uh, it guides you through the setup steps, but also as you do it, it gives you extra days on the trial. Uh, so you can you can go from the, the seven days that you get at the start to I think about 30 days when you're just one person. Um, just to incentivize people to fall, uh, set it up uh, properly. Love that. Love it. All right, you ruin. And, and I want to get into a little bit about your own personal entrepreneurial journey, because I know you just mentioned that, you know, you started your career in customer uh, relationship management with Salesforce, mm -hmm. and then you ended up, you know, creating a whole product. <laughs> you know, you, you ended up creating a whole company, rather, um, to just kind of remedy some of those, you know, gripes and um, things that weren't working at Salesforce. But tell us a little bit about your, your journey. Like, how did you how did you decide that, OK, you know, I want to be able to create a product that I would use that I would also refer to, you know, friends and businesses and colleagues, like give us a little scenario about how that, how that played out for you. Yeah. I, I as a little bit of background, I've always been interested in, uh, in building stuff and starting things. And when I was 15, 16, I, uh, I would build websites. Uh, it was like the beginning of, 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 of websites with HTML and flash and all that. A lot of flash uh, still back then. Um, and then I had a little, uh, secondhand, uh, cell phone business at some point as a student. Um, and then when I graduated, I sort of felt like, um, I wanted to start my own company, but I didn't really feel, um, confident about my, uh, knowledge of how businesses work and all that. So, yeah. uh, the first thing I did was, uh, working in a big company and I started in a very big one called Baxter first. It's a, it's a big pharma company, a uh, um, uh, U.S. company. And um, I was a product manager there, um, which I thought was sort of like putting a product in the market, but it uh, ended up being much more boring than that. Yeah. So I didn't do that for long. I very quickly switched to that marketing consultancy that I mentioned earlier, um, where I was in charge of uh, selling projects, um, managing the projects, uh, for big pharma companies, helping them to uh, go from their very uh, sales-driven model to a more uh, digital model in this in this new world where, where many more things are digital, both for doctors and patients. Um, and in the meantime, I um, I worked on a lot of different startup ideas um, because I, I I wanted to get back to uh, starting stuff. Um, but then actually. Salesflare happened. It was while we were working on another thing uh, that we thought like, oh, this should exist. Mm -hmm. um, and um, we just sort of got this spark. We started brainstorming about it and it just seemed right. And we, we uh, started looking like, how can we spend our time on this? Uh, where do we find money to be able to spend time on that? And we validated, like start talking to some people, like, what do you think about this? Would this help? We made a, a little presentation, a little uh, prototype that didn't do anything just to show to people like, this is how it would work. Um, and yeah, from there we got into an accelerator, got into an incubator. Um, we got a bit of money. We hired someone to start working on it and yeah. It just all, 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 all oh, wow. evolved from there. Wow, that's impressive. That is very impressive. What what type of challenges were you guys up against when you you know were looking to to create this new startup? Uh, a lot of challenges. I can imagine. Uh, yeah, there's a re recurring uh, cash challenge. Um, although that's that's uh, not not as big as an issue as it as it used to be. Uh, but as a you you need to. Um, and as a startup founder, manage your cash balance very well so you, you never run out of money. That's very important. Um, hiring the right people at the right time is certainly a, a very important challenge as well. Um, finding the right marketing channels uh, is, is a big one. Um, 
yeah, I, I would say those are the the, the main ones to uh, to tackle after you've sort of built something that people want at least because that's 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 where it all begins. Begins is doing the research, yeah, and it certainly turned out to be the case for you, which is great. All right, Jeroen, before we get ready to wrap up, leave us with some words of encouragement. There may be. I don't know, you know, we get all types of different listeners and I'm pretty sure that you've inspired somebody, but definitely leave us with a couple of words of encouragement for uh, anybody who's looking to create or to release a project or launch a project. Oh, I would say, I would say uh, don't hesitate. And, and I mean, don't hesitate with uh, start starting to talk to people about it. Uh, certainly don't hold anything back. I mean, um, you're probably the only person who is, who is crazy enough to work on the, the crazy idea you just had. So just <laughs> right. start discussing it with people, see what they think about it, uh, especially people that that you you see you see it using, not not unrelated people because that doesn't make a lot of sense. But the people that you you're gonna sell it to in the end, uh, ask them a lot of questions, ask them what their issues are, um, maybe maybe build an audience. Uh, of people that you think you could solve an issue for. Um, always start very well with uh, validating the, 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 the issue that you're solving and the way you're going to solve it. Yeah. But then don't hesitate to, uh, to step beyond that and, and actually start, start building the solution as soon as you got there. Um, because it's, it's not, the intention is not to, to stay a startup. Of course, uh, it's to build a business. To build a business. Great advice and definitely, uh, some good tips. You're let us know where we can find more information about yourself. And also if anybody's listening that is interested in trying the trial on Salesforce or gaining more, uh, details on the product, make sure that you leave your website, social handles, and just whatever, uh, contact info. Yeah, so for Salesflare, um, you can go on salesflare.com. Uh, and like I said, there's a button at the top right. You can just try the software. It will it will guide you through it. Uh, if you want to get in touch with me, uh, you can do that on LinkedIn. There's only one person with my name, so you can just type it in the search. Send me a connection request, but please include a message. Otherwise, I cannot uh, know where you came from, and I'm I'm just be assuming that uh, you're trying to sell something to me, yeah. <laughs> like most people. So uh, right. do include a message. Right. I'm glad you mentioned that. I'm not the only one that feels that way on LinkedIn. All right. Perfect. Your own. We appreciate you being on the show. I hope you have a great day, and we look forward to talking to you soon. Thanks for hanging out with us here on SOB. We hope this episode has been resourceful. If you'd like to check out the latest articles or follow Keetra's website updates, just log on to Keetra.com or follow her on Twitter at K-E-E-T-R-I-A.